So today I'm going to be doing this very dark smoky eye tutorial for you. This is like a modified version of that classic bombshell look with the super highlighted cheeks and the intense contour, the smoky eyes, the nude lips. You know, you, you used to see this everywhere, you know, like all the Playboy bunnies would wear this and Pamela Anderson made this famous, but you know, it's just more of an up-to-date version. And I use colors from the Lorac Pro Palette. I've gotten a lot of you guys asking me how I feel about this palette. I really do love it. I don't reach for it as often as I wish I would. That's amazing. Oh my God, my eyeshadow just broke. <laughs> Lovely. I really love the colors that I use. I think they're beautiful on all different eye colors. They're absolutely gorgeous. It's something that you wouldn't expect. It's not just a black smoky eye. Um, the technique that I am using is extremely easy. It looks like it's complex when you're looking at me right now, but you will be surprised by how easy it is. And you can do this technique with any colors that your heart desires. So I hope you enjoy this look and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. First thing I am going to do is put this Brown Now Grease Paint Stick. This is a very old product from MAC. You can get a Maybelline Color Stay Tattoo. Um, there's one literally in this exact same color, but I've already primed my eyes, and over top of that, I'm just gonna put this at the base of my lid and rub it around with any brush. I'm using a Precision Brush by Sigma, and then I use my fingers as well. This does not need to be precise, just get the darkness on the bottom of your lid. And then I'm gonna go in with Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. Again, I am obsessed with this eyeshadow, and I'm just gonna rub it around with a Sigma E25, I believe. It's just like the MAC 217 and I'm just gonna put this in the crease now just a warning when you start looks like this it always looks really weird and messed up for the first half and then all of a sudden it comes together I'm gonna use the Lorac Pro palette I'm gonna use this Garnet shade and this is a lot like Max antiqued it's this really beautiful rusty it, it's a brown brown with a red tint in it. It is gorgeous. It is so similar to Max Antique. I, I held them next to each other and they're the exact same color. And I'm just going to put this on a 242 brush by MAC and push this all over the lid up into my crease. A little bit further into my crease than I normally do. As you can see, I'm literally putting it in there sideways and just dusting it back and forth. Then I'm going to take another Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Cocoa Bear. Love this. It's similar to Max Brown script, but I think I like it even better. Her eyeshadows have so much pigment and they are so easy to blend it's amazing so anyways I'm gonna start on the outer corner of my eye really working this into the crease but I'm going to bring it into the inner corner as well because this isn't a cat eye look this is a very blown out smoky eye so you want that color to go just as much upward as you do outward you're gonna want to bring it all the way into the inner corner of the eye as well when you don't have tons of product on your brush then I'm going to take Max Copper Ring. This is totally optional. This look does not need this color, but I get so many comments from my subscribers telling me all the time that you guys own Copper Ring, so I thought I'd throw it in there. I just put it on the ball of my eye just for an extra pop of dimension. Now I'm going to take Max Smolder Eye Coal. L'Oreal has a great eye coal at the drugstore. It's like the exact same thing. And just rub this on the base of the lash line as sloppy as you want. Take any black. I'm going to use the one from the Lorac palette. Um, this is kind of a gray though. It's not really that black next to other blacks, but it doesn't matter. Just take it on any smudgy brush and just smoke it out. So you just want to rub it back and forth and take it upward and then the outer corner kind of flick it so that you get some depth and dimension in that outer corner as well. Again, none of this is precise. That's why it's such a fun, easy look. It's just so smoky. Then I'm going to take Nude. For some reason on camera, it's not showing up that much, but it has good pigmentation, and I'm just going to use that to highlight underneath of my brows, just for that typical highlight that I have to have in every video. Then I'm going to take Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I am in shade 123, in case you are curious. On my Holy Grail Sigma Flat Top Kabuki Brush, this is the F80, and I know it doesn't match my skin, but that's okay because it matches my neck and my body, I promise you. I use a Clarisonic on my skin every night, so my face is never the same color as my body because I'm constantly exfoliating. I'm filling in my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is in, what's the color? Soft brown. And I'm giving my brow a lot of definition because of the smoky eyes that we're doing and this bombshell look that we're going with. I want to give them a lot of arc. Okay, and then I'm going to use MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. I have been using 25, but I'm using 20 for this look because this look really calls for a really highlighted face. So I'm using 20 in my beauty blender. Whoops, sorry about my phone. And then I am just going to rub that out with my finger in the inner 
corner. And as always, I'm taking Emphasize Pro Highlighting Powder by MAC. You can get this online. You don't have to have a Pro card or anything. And I'm going to just dab this all under my eye area. I'm not using tons of it, just a tiny bit, and this will just kind of make everything blend easier when we go in with blush and everything else. And now that I have that set, I'm going to do my under eye color. I'm using Coco Bear once again, the same color by Makeup Geek that I use in my crease, and I'm using a 2 on 2 brush by MAC, and I'm just going to push this deep into the lash line. Make sure you bring it up in that outer corner and connect it to the eyeshadow that is on top of the eye. And then any pencil brush, I think this is a Sedona Lace one, they all do the same thing, and I'm just going to smoke that out. You can go in with more Coco Bear, or you can grab some Creme Brulee, whatever you want. Just make sure that you smoke it out. Take your time with this. A lot of people are afraid to smoke out their bottom lash line really harshly, but don't be, because this will really complete the look. Make sure you connect it to that outer corner like you see me doing right now. Then I'm going to take MAC Shroom. This is my favorite highlighter in the entire world for the eyes. And I'm not going to put it actually in my inner corner, like on top of the shadow. I'm going to do it around it just to open up that area, just to give it more highlight and bring more attention. And then just use any mascara and put a coat of mascara on the lashes. This is by L'Oreal. And then throw on any lashes that you want. You will see the difference in these eyes with lashes. It really completes this look. And I do not know what lashes these are. It kills me. They were not in the right packaging. They're beautiful, and I have no idea what they are. I'm going to go on a hunt. Okay, now I'm going to use Bobbi Brown Golden Light Bronzer. I cannot say enough good things about this bronzer right now. Seriously, this is my favorite bronzer I think I've ever used. It is so beautiful. It blends out immaculately. It is just, it looks like it's airbrushed. I'm using the same NARS brush that I used in my last video. I hear you guys asking me for all kinds of tutorials on it, so I will be doing that soon. And I'm just going to buff this out. I'm giving myself a pretty harsh contour, and then I'm just going to put it along the hairline as well, just to give a lot of definition and sculpting to the face. And then after that, I'm going to put mascara on the bottom lashes. If you're curious, I'm using Lancome Hypnose. If you don't have long bottom lashes, you can totally skip this step. It's not crazy important, but mine look weird without it. Then I'm going to use MAC Peaches Blush. This is a matte blush. It's got like an orangey coral in it. I'm going to use a, this is a 129 brush by MAC, um, but you know, they're all the same. Like I said, all these brands have the same brushes. And I'm going to blend that in on the apples of my cheeks and mix it with that bronzer to make it look really flawless. Then I'm going to use Hard Candy. This is the Tiki bronzer, highlighter, whatever. And I'm going to use a big fan brush to highlight in my cheekbones. I found out that this has mineral oil in it. I looked at the ingredients, and I'm really, really sad because this highlighter is absolutely gorgeous right now, so I'm in a sticky situation. I don't know what to do. Okay. I'm going to use Costa Riche. This is an eyeliner. It's an eye coal by MAC. And I line my waterline with it, and it's this beautiful red color. If you have light eyes, even brown eyes, Kim Kardashian used to wear this all the time. It is so beautiful. But I knew that a lot of you aren't going to have this red eyeliner or this exact shade, so I just wanted to show it to you, but I'm going to cover it up with a black eye coal because everyone has that. So you can see what it looks like with black. And then I'm going to use two joysticks by the Kardashian line, Chroma. One is in Baby Doll and one is in All Natural. And I'm going to put both of them on my lips together to get a nice nude shade. I don't like things super, super washed out nude. So to me, this is pretty much as nude as I go. And then I'm just going to go back and do some touch-ups just to blend all that eyeshadow out once again, just using any, any blending brush just to make sure there's no lines. And then I'm going to set everything with Urban Decay Makeup Spray, and we are done. I hope you enjoy, guys, and I will see you soon. Mwah! Bye!